Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, it is Sunday, the 31st of January, and I am on my way home after just taking a nice little walk and doing a bit of shopping. I've got to say, it's actually nice to get out after almost a week of confinement feeling crappy. And just to reiterate, for those of you that don't follow my channel, the reason I felt bad is because I got bit by a stray cat and my hand got infected and I had to have antibiotics and a tetanus jab. I'm not ill or sick or anything like that. Look how quite central drive is. But it's going to be quiet because it's cold, it's the end of January and it's Sunday closing hours so yeah also central drive is closed i mean this bit isn't closed there's a little bit just where the yorkshire bank used to be roughly there that's closed so people driving towards town down grassmere road central drive have to detour that's how lots of traffic is filtering from down here All those shops there, they have been closed for a long old while and they all used to be open and bustling businesses when I was little. There were clothes shops, there was a sweet shop, I think that one there that says smoke and gifts, I think that used to be the sweet shop because they had a little canopy outside or it might have been a tattoo studio next door to that. One of those two shops used to be the sweet shop. In fact now, the more I look at it, I think it was the tattoo place that used to be the sweet shop. But there was a lot of shoe shops and gift shops down there. And same on the other side. A lot of places are closed on the other side now. And I can't see a lot of businesses reopening because when we start the Chariots of the Gods, demolition work and preparation all these buildings are going to go well on this side they are the King Edward apartments that side isn't going anywhere as far as I'm aware I'm pretty sure that side's staying put but that the King Edward apartments is coming down so I can't see any of these shops being rented out and starting new businesses we cross over the roads are plenty quiet enough to cross you see there central picture theatre i remember when it was a nightclub for a short while too young to go in at the time i'm pretty sure but i think it was called the village this building was built in 1913. I'm pretty sure they're not pulling that down when they do the Chariots of the Gods. I'm pretty sure that's staying put. It's got a blue plaque on it, so it's got to be a listed building. In fact, shall we take a look? Let me just see where that car's turning. Turning down there. Let's take a look at the blue plaque. I know I've just crossed over, but let's just cross back I've probably filmed this before but we're going to take another look now the central picture theatre grade 2 listed building so they want to put it down this purpose built theatre nope this purpose built cinema opened in July 1913 and originally seated around a thousand patrons it subsequently changed its name to the King Edward and with its outer appearance having been altered little since it opened it remains a fine example of the first phase of cinema building in the Art Nouveau style it showed its last film in 1972 and has since been known by a variety of names used mainly for nightclub kindly donated by the venue nightclub I don't ever remember it being called the venue. I thought it was called the village. But I guess my memory could be somewhat unreliable. That street there is Reeds Avenue. 
I do have that on my to-do list for Streets of Blackpool. There's a few people that I've requested Reeds Avenue, so I will get to it as soon as I can. I was thinking about the possibility of doing it today, but I'm just too cold and too tired right now. And I don't really want to overdo it because... Oh, look, was there a plaque on there? It's like a plaque, plaque size the space or something there. Would that used to be a plaque? I don't know. Yeah, but going back to what I was saying, I don't want to overdo it and do too much filming and vlogging and walking when I'm only just starting to feel a little bit better. I still have one day left of antibiotics. So I'll finish them tomorrow afternoon. We can get a better view now of that hole that's been dug by the water board. There we go. Big old hole. Look, tram tracks there, folks. Look at that. That is tram tracks, isn't it? I'm not seeing things. Let's come out again. Because trams used to run everywhere, didn't they? At one point, they ran pretty much through a lot of Blackpool. That used to be a bank. Is it in that West Bank? And now you can see the lights are going on and it's starting to get dark. And my hands are getting cold again and last vlog when I was well a couple of vlogs ago today when I was filming I'd said my hands are freezing and I turned the camera off to put my gloves on I did put my gloves on but now my hands are still freezing between my gloves up there is Palatine Road that is another one that's a request for streets of Blackpool and I will get onto that soon if I'm still feeling okay tomorrow and I'm feeling okay for coming out I will get Reeds Avenue and Palatine Road done because I'll be able to walk around in a loop so I'll film one from top to bottom and the other one from bottom to top if that makes sense <laughs> all that ice there somebody's up with the freezer And cut over because there's quite a few people about down there so I'm just gonna well not a few there's like four or five just walking towards me so I'd rather just walk down here where it's a bit quieter to the car park there when we had all the terrace of buildings there we that's the terrace used to be called, but big part of Central Drive or Bethesda Road. I'm not sure of the address of every property down there. I did actually record all that being demolished for my channel. So you can look up look up the Bethesda Terrace videos and see that licensing some groceries that used to be a little chip shop for the elite and the chips were really nice and it was open all the time if you've just been to the tax and you're going home walking down the road the elite would be open and you could look in there and go and sit down long thin place with lots of seats and tables and you could go there and get some chips and gravy even if it was like half two in the morning It's cold. Well folks, I'm going to end this video now because my hand's about to freeze solid and drop off my wrist. So I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a like. 
maybe you can leave me a comment and please subscribe and i will see you all very soon in the next vlog goodbye